been seven years, I can't believe seven years since our next guest, or our first guest, has sitting on, sat and squatted on this couch. <laughs> and after one phone call from me and some grown woman talk, we're back together and she's here to spill the tea. No question off limit. Welcome my friend, Nene Leakes. <laughs> You're such a copycat. I had no idea. You did. <laughs> she was all up in my business. Look, what you doing? Talking to you. Oh my God, you didn't answer my call yesterday. I know, I, you were called a few times. I knew you were doing it on purpose. No, I was busy, I told you, I, like I had. I was like, oh my God, she's trying not to answer my call. No, I, no. <laughs> you called twice and I did, I did put you to stop. I was gonna text you, then I thought, just forget it. You know I value my time. She didn't, she didn't want to talk to me because she knew I was gonna be here today. Right, so why talk on the phone last night? You, I had a situation going on. You look so cute. You look cute. <laughs> look. So wait, look, look. First, the hair. Yes. Mm -hmm. I thought I'd be you a little bit. It's very pretty. The last time we were together, she, said, she got mad with me and she said, and your wig is too thin. And I was like, oh my God, is it? Well, it was, yeah. <laughs> no, no, because you had it straight. That was, it, it was straight, but it was yeah. thin. So I thought I'd put extra hair in so you wouldn't talk. Well, about how it. do you like it now? <laughs> Look, is this from Swag Boutique or is this no, off the runway? No, this is off of Saks Fifth Avenue, honey, right up there. Yes, yeah. uh-huh. You look so pretty. Thank you, and the earrings, they're really good. These are Gucci. Okay, of course. Yeah. Butterflies. Listen, when you roll yeah. with Nene, you've got to understand you cannot be cheap. <laughs> and you know, I am as cheap as the day is long. And She's she gets a little frugal. She gets very upset. <laughs> and now the shoes, please with the shoe cam. Okay. Down there, down there. Right. Down, down, look. Oh, mm -hmm. Uh-huh. These are Christian Louboutin. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Yeah. First yeah, class all the way. About, like we're both nervous. I'm not nervous. You're not? No, I feel like they're not even here. Okay. <laughs> this is how we talk. Okay, let's talk. So it's been seven years since Nene was here, and I, um, <laughs> hi, Greg. You? you look great. <laughs> no, don't give him a mic. No, 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 no microphone. Bye, Greg. No, this is about me and my friend. I'll talk to you another time. Uh, but you look wonderful, and congratulations on being cancer free. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so we're gonna get back to that situation in a moment, you know. Let's talk. But okay, so it's been seven years since Nene has been here, and you know I'm going through a divorce and I'm rerooting my life. But this is not my fault. But there are people <laughs> that I have been calling and saying, "What happened between us? Just you know, what happened?" So I get her telephone number from somebody, and I said, "I don't want the assistant or whatever." I get directly at it. I call her up. I'm like, "How you doing?" <laughs> Lanethia, it's Wendy. What happened uh, between Lanethia. us? Lanethia. And she didn't flinch. We get right into it. Yeah, I catch a flight immediately. I have a whole schedule, and I said, Wendy just called me, so let me book my flight. I have to go. I don't know how I was going to work my schedule I didn't ask for her to come, though. I just, she didn't say come, but I, I knew you needed me, honey. So I, chopped, I jumped on the plane, and I went straight to her. Wow. She did do that. <laughs> Which is very unnecessary, but a real nice thing to do. It was not. So here's what I feel what happened between us. And you guys, you saw this. When we first met Nene on The Housewives, she was like our big mouth friend who would just <laughs> say it like she meant it. She had a cute family and she, the laugh and that whole bit, just like keeping it real with Nene. <laughs> And then, and then all of a sudden, the paychecks got bigger, and I feel that the fame got in the way of her remembering who we liked her for. Now clap if you understand what I'm saying. No, Nene, no, Nene, no, no. And then you started acting like a real jerk on the show, and, it be and then you became, no, Nene, we talk about this, don't act. Look, she started acting like a real <laughs> big head jerk on the show and million dollar paycheck or whatever they're paying you or not. 
We missed the girl that we knew. And then all of a sudden, you stuck with that character. So I was like, I'm, I'm done with Nene. That's her version, okay? Y'all wanna hear mine? Go ahead. So, you know how Wendy does her hot topics? And so she was just hot topic, this hot, Nene this, Nene that. I still have to talk about you. And I was just like, well, dang, she is just really running my name in the dirt. Then one day she was like, Nene and her Birkin. I was like, that's it. Right, that's when it. you marked up the Birkin. Yes, and that's And then okay, put my name on it, calling me a bitch or something <laughs> on it. I did not! Yes, sir, you called me a man or something. <laughs> yes, you did. Yes, you did. I did not. Yes. I, I, listen, that is not yes, on my Birkin. Yes, the hell Birkin. you did. I promise to uh, God. No, no, you put Wendell. Uh-huh. <laughs> I did Yes, yes, you did. Yes, you did. That is not on my Birkin. I promise. That is, <laughs> that is not on my Birkin. You know what? Regardless to whatever happened, the the you know the thing that I I love the most is when I got on the flight and we were meeting in a restaurant. So when I got to the restaurant, it was almost like we never missed a beat. Never missed a beat. We was just right back. And into we never it. knew each other in real life. We only know each yeah. other from this couch. But it seemed like we were friends in real life before, yeah. and like grown people going through yeah. things. I'm going through a divorce and a whole bunch of other stuff. I got the lymphedema. You've been to my house, see me yeah. on my machine, and yeah. ugh. you've been through cancer with Greg. While right before Greg yeah. um, was stricken with the, the cancer, yeah. Nene was about to divorce him. Ah. So. <laughs> Can we talk about that? Oh my God, Wendy, I cannot I mean, with you. Okay. Oh Lord, they well, did every. That was one of the questions backstage. Yeah, well, no. Okay, so, uh, well, no, I don't care no, what they I say. Wasn't, it wasn't like, you can't look at Greg. Friends. Greg is looking like, uh, <laughs> Listen, no. <laughs> okay, fine. Well, you know what? When, when right before Greg uh, uh, found out he had cancer, we were not in a good place. You were you sleeping in so, separate rooms? No, we didn't go into separate rooms until he got. Sick. Were you dividing the covers? Yeah, we do that a lot. Though. Oh, okay, okay. Because one of the rules that Greg and I have had over the years is no matter what's happening, you must get in the bed at night. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. you can put the pillow between you, but you have to get in the bed because that's going to keep you close. So right, we've okay. never been out of the bed from each other. Okay. Any argument, you must come to bed. Okay, okay. You know. So, what uh, was going on with you all's relationship? Because you all have been together for like 25 years. 23. Right. Now, yeah. So what was going on at that time? Um, you know, just not really seeing eye to eye. You know, just, just arguing, just not seeing eye to eye. I felt like I wasn't happy, and I'm sure he felt like he wasn't happy. And um, it... You know, listen, my happiness means everything to me. Yeah. And if you can't bring me happiness, bye bye. Yeah. <laughs> one of the things, one of the things that I discovered about Nene um, behind the <laughs> scenes, knowing her in real life, <laughs> Nene is really a loner. She's, I am. she's, she, yeah. Mm -hmm. And you're. I like being alone. Though. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I didn't think I thought you are a loner too. No, I, but I always say that I'm, I, yeah. I'm my own I'm best friend. I'm a real loner. I, but we don't get that from you on TV. Yeah, I have girlfriends, but what I mean by that is I do a lot of things by myself. I go to the store, I shop. I don't need anybody to do anything with me. I do it by myself. I like me. <laughs> and you know what? You know, I feel like sometimes when I'm doing it with other people, they slow me down. Like, yes. Especially when I'm going to shop. I can shop quick. I don't need no help. <laughs> right. And so I feel like people slow me down. I can just do my thing. And then at the end of the day, then I like to get with my girlfriend yes. and have drink and dinner. Yeah. But I'm so, a loner. So Kenya Moore. Who's what that? You... No? Oh. <laughs> okay. Nothing other than that? Well, she's back and she's stirring the pot. She sounds like she's coming after a nini size check to be the nini of the Atlanta Housewives. Good luck with that. Okay. I don't uh, have to fight for anything, honey. Okay. <laughs> what about what about Marlo? Uh, like I like Marlo. I literally just spoke to Marlo before I came out here. Cause they're trying to make it seem yeah. like you guys don't get along. Never, Marlo. That's my girl. You see that picture? There we go. Yeah. Yeah, we were just talking right before I walked out here. But when she says hi. Uh, hi, hi, Marlo. <laughs> look, look, when 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 Marlo has to film with the other girls and they yeah. don't bring you in to the frame, mm -hmm. how do you feel? I'm okay with that. I understand the show. I yeah. mean, I've been on the show a really long time, so I understand how it is. It's usually the people on social media who are commenting, they don't understand how yes. it is. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I've learned a lot about how it yeah. is just knowing her, you know, yeah. all the ins and outs and stuff like that. It's a lot. So you had a fall, it's too yeah. much. It's a lot. You wanna join? 
No. <laughs> uh-huh. No. You be the best girl. No, I wouldn't. Honey, you be our number one New York housewife, honey. No. Baby, first I would leave all, the TV when you came on. And I... first, first of all, every time I talk to Nene, she's either going to the Nene Marcus <laughs> or the Saks, or in heavy shopper. hair and makeup, or, or wardrobe. Because I'm a real shopper, you're, though. You're about to, I can't, like. Yeah. I love to shop, Wendy doesn't. So I was at Wendy's house and there's this new, you know, shopping place, what's it called? A, it's across the street with the Neiman Marcus and, and the I said, Saks. come on, let's go to Neiman. She said, I have all my life to go to Neiman. So I'm just like, girl. Yeah. <laughs> all my life, I, like I'm busy. I, I like to, to moisturize like and sit minutes. down and we, like, I'm, I'm the cooler, <laughs> older friend and I accept that in all of my girlfriend's lives. And even if I'm your age, somehow I feel as though I'm the, the calming, stable force and I'm not even stable or calm. <laughs> so you all looking at me for advice. Oh yes, <laughs> Nene will text, I need your advice. I'm like, oh gosh, what? <laughs> Gosh. All right, you had a falling out. But you out gave with... me good advice, though, when I, when I told you I needed advice. You really did. You made me think after I hung I discussed up. that with him. Yeah, you did? Yep. When I hung up, I was just like, you know what? That was really good, what Wendy said. Yeah. Yeah, you were good. So you're going, and, and everything's going to be good. I don't know. And you're staying. Yes, you are. I'm going to tell them what we talked about. Don't you be telling them what we talked about. OK. Dang, some things are secret. OK, I was just testing you. So Nene and no Cynthia sense. had a falling out, which is, it's impossible yeah. for me to see anybody falling out with Cynthia, because I only know Cynthia as being that calming force. What do you fight with Cynthia about? Really? What would you fight with Greg about? Nothing. I mean, people say that same thing. Well, you might want to change that now. You know, these people who are walking around here quiet ain't necessarily quiet. Oh. You might want to check them before you check somebody that's talking. Okay, so how do, how do you get along with her now? Uh, we're on in a, a scale good place. of one to ten, ten being the best. Uh, we're in a good place. Um, mm, seven. Okay. Good enough. Phaedra on marriage boot camp. I didn't know that she was getting married. Um, <laughs> she, she's only been dating this guy for six months, and already they're having problems to go on marriage boot camp. And, um, and the crux of the problem is she wants to have the president and the vice pres- president, her boys, and her move out to LA to be with this man. That she's only known for six months. Phaedra just texted me like a couple days ago, said she had a dream about me. Yeah, she did. Was it a good one? She said it was a good dream. Yeah, she said it was a good dream. And uh, so I'm surprised she didn't say she was going to marriage boot camp. Oh, well, see, then yeah. she's not your real friend. <laughs> I mean, because that would be a big deal. Like, a real friend would, would just, like, yeah, you know what I'm doing? Well, you know, I don't consider us like that. I f- consider us like, you know, really good associates, good okay. friend, you know. Uh, if, if I called you and you didn't tell me that, I would have a real problem. Yeah. I would come and bust your door down. <laughs> yes. She already knows, you know, we've had these, like, real conversations. I'm like, listen, girl, don't do that. I am your real sister. Yeah. Who, me? Yeah, you, you know. Oh, uh, I mean, yeah. I'm, I'm talking about Phaedra. Oh, well, we switched from her back to you. Do you want her back on? <laughs> <laughs> Do you want her back on Atlanta, though? You know what, Phaedra would be good on the show. She's good on the show, you know, think so? Yes! I think she's great, I would love to have her. With Apollo and his girlfriend. Yes. With Apollo and his girlfriend? Yes. Oh, okay, yeah, I'm yes. here for that. Yes, as a matter of fact, <laughs> I think they might even be married right now. I'm not they sure. They're not married. We didn't figure that. Well, she's young enough we to have a baby. It's so hilarious. She's like, I think they're married. Well, <laughs> <laughs> she love a good gossip, honey. They are not married, child. We would know that by now. Why? You didn't know she was on boot camp? No, I didn't. Well, she's secretive. <laughs> Listen, they made a good check on boot camp too. Uh, I was telling you, we might need to go get that check. Right? <laughs> Look, Nene's not going anywhere. Up next, we're no. gonna put her in the hot seat. So keep it here. <laughs> All right. All right, it's about to get hot in here. Nene is still here and she's brave enough to sit in our hot seat. You ready? Uh-huh. All right, well, look, I've I got I want you to get in it next. Well, look, <laughs> we're gonna... We're, well, you can always flee the scene. No. Although you're not a runner. I'm so for it. Let's okay. do it. Your first question is only yeah. 40 degrees. Pretty easy. Yeah. Besides yourself, who's your favorite housewife of all time? Of all time, that's a big question, because there's a few girls that I really like, and this would probably be an odd answer for you, because we're really cool. I like Teresa uh-huh. from New Jersey. Mm-hmm. Uh, we're very cool. Um, she's no longer a housewife, but I really like Jill Zarin. 
Okay. All right, good. All right. Yeah. 60 degree question. Mm -hmm. We've talked about plastic surgery. Yes. Is a there, lot. Is a lot. Yes, yes, we do. Uh, is there anything more that you would like to do to yourself? Oh, yes, a lot of things. Okay. okay. Give me your top three. Uh, what? Three, honey? That's what? a lot. I was going to give you one. Okay. Oh, well. my boobs. I would do my boobs again. Okay. Like keep my implants and move my tissue around. Oh. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay. Walk, walk, walk. Okay. Um, let me see. Facially. Um, I, I, I probably I would tweak my nose again. Why do you keep saying that? Will you stop, girl? Cause that's what I it's want. Fine. Okay. And then. Um, no, I mean it's better than if you like the, the way it is now. But I'm just saying. Yeah, they say as you get that. older, your nose get longer. I'm afraid for it to get longer. <laughs> I wouldn't be no good if I woke up and my nose was long. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here's your eight. Uh, <laughs> Would you get a full facelift ever? Uh-uh, no, I won't get a face. Okay. I feel like that's too much. Yeah. And I'm scared. Yeah. Everybody look like they're in pain. Yeah. It's just injectables and stuff Oh, like I love that. a filler. I've never had a Botox, but I love a filler. Okay. The only reason why I don't do a Botox is because I'm, I'm an actress. So when I got to be able to move around. <laughs> but... You know, I might get a little booty or something, you think? No, nah, I don't like that. I got hips, and I think when you got hips and then you had booty too, you like a wide truck. I don't have hips or booty, but I like to sit down, <laughs> so I'm scared, you know. You don't want a little booty? No, uh, well, I have you... a little booty. You do? Well, what would you do? I, I would not do it. I don't want anything. You don't? No. I'm well, scared. I believe that. I I'm telling Dima. you, ladies, do not believe what these people are saying. If you need a nip and a tuck, please get go it. and get it. Yep. I promise you. Forget what they got to say. They okay. just mad they can't afford it, girl. Go get your nip and tuck. And if your husband tell you you look fine, he lying. <laughs> okay, your 80 degree question. We're friends again, yeah. but who's the one celebrity feud that you've had that you will never forgive? You know, I don't think I've, I've not had that many celebrity feuds. You, and then. That uh, wasn't even a feud. <laughs> I have no idea what was going on. And then um, all of the housewives, I mean, we work together, so we will probably be arguing for the rest of our lives. Okay. So that's not it. Um, if I had to not forgive anybody for something, I'm, I'm a forgiving person, okay? That's why my girlfriends always come back to me, because it's a lot of love over here. Okay, come <laughs> on, I gotta go. It would probably be Greg. I argue with him about anything 10, 20 years ago. I'd be like, you see, I bring something up from way back. So maybe Greg. Okay, Greg. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And here's your last question. Yeah. It's 100 degrees, so don't burn your booty on this one. There's so many housewives that have come and gone and you're still standing. Which is the one that you'd be happiest, though, that uh, either they are or left the show? Either they are leaving, you wish you'd leave, or they left the show. I wish they leave. Now, I'm gonna give you the names and oh. then you tell me. Kim Zolciak, Sheree, Phaedra, Claudia Jordan. Which is your least favorite? Like, bye, girl, bye. Oh, my say it. God. You gotta say it. I know a lot of people probably think that I would say Kim because we've argued a lot, but honestly, that's not Claudia, true. Claudia, Phaedra, Sheree. Claudia, okay. I don't know her that well. Phaedra, I think she's, it would be Sheree. Okay, there you go. See, the honesty lives. Yeah. Nene, everybody, for more information about her, Ladies of Success, she's having this weekend in Miami where she's oh my God, I have other to women. Tell you guys, it's no, so funny. we don't she's have time. Wendyshow.com. Yes, we we'll be right back.